Hey, what's going on Star Wars fans? You're watching The Collector's Hut. My name is Chris. I'm back again with another Star Wars The Force Awakens action figure review. We have PZ4CO. He's a cool new looking droid. He's a fixture in the Resistance base. And uh, that's safe to say that he's a good guy. So that makes me super happy because he's mega cool. This guy is super cool. And uh, I couldn't be happier with the way that this came out. But before we get into this review, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to Jared Salmon. He's the guy responsible for my new logo. So I found him on Instagram. He's a great artist. He completely nailed my idea. You know, I was just like, hey, can I be animated with Jabba the Hutt back to back with our arms crossed? So, yeah, he nailed it, guys. I'm pumped about it. You're going to be seeing this logo everywhere. I'm going to be making t-shirts, some new stickers, and uh, a business card, stuff like that. So uh, I'm thrilled about it. Thank you so much, Jared. Guys, if you need something drawn, make sure you get in touch with him because he's super easy to work with. The prices are unbelievable. And um, I'll put his link in the description. So anyway, let's get right back to this figure because it is epic. So we'll start off with the package. You get a really cool picture of this new droid with his eyes lit up which looks great and then you have a brief description in the back there you go so package is pretty sweet Let's get right to this figure. So like I said, I am very happy with this. The color, the design, it's great. He has like a protocol droid body and this very unique neck to this cool head. It's just really, really awesome. Now, all these figures are five points of articulation, so... His arms go all the way up and down. No problems there. The legs go up and down. And the neck does not move, but his head is on a ball joint. So you get a little up and down action right here, just a little bit. And you get side to side, left to right. So yeah, this guy is so cool. Now all these figures come with um, an accessory, so they came with these little like leg jetpack things, I'm assuming. So you just click them right on the side of his leg. At first I thought these things went on his arms because the bottom look, it looks like a missile. But it, it says in the, the description to put them on his leg, so that's what he looks like with them on. So, I don't know. I guess he's just going to fly away. I have no idea. But um, I just wanted to show you guys. This is what it came with. You know, would it look better on his arm? Probably. But um, when I display him, I'm not going to be having these pieces near him. So, it's all good. I think it's pretty cool that they all come with these little bonus pieces that it's really nice that they do that. You know, it's a hit or a miss with some figures. But uh, this guy looks cool just the way he is. Now all the colors are really sweet. And these mocks right here, I don't know if they were on purpose. You know, if they actually mean something. Or if it's just wear and tear. It'd be so cool if his eyes glowed, just like in that picture, like if there was a button you can press and his eyes could light up, that would be sick. That totally would have been the cherry on top. Who knows, there's still time. So I can't wait to hear this guy, see him in action. I think it's going to be really cool. Is he going to be friends with C-3PO, R2-D2, and BB-8? Who knows, guys? It's possible.
You know, when I first saw this image of this character, it reminded me of Dirge from the first Clone Wars animated series, just because of his elongated neck. But um, now that I have him, obviously I don't think that anymore. But um, it did remind me of it, just briefly. But I, I think it's really cool. You know, you get a protocol droid with this cool head. Gr just an overall great figure. So I don't know if you guys have been getting lucky in the areas that you're from in store. I haven't been getting any figures in the Boston area. I've been getting a lot of my merchandise online, which is kind of a bummer. You know, I, I really like that feeling of walking into a store and that excitement of finding a figure. But these stores have been just bare, you know. So hopefully you guys will find them, you know, um, because if you come across any of these figures, just pick them up. They're really cool. And hopefully we start to get our stores restocked because this is getting a little ridiculous. Please subscribe to the Collector's Hut channel. I think that's exactly what this guy is going to sound like. Spoiler alert, guys. I voice this character. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Please let me know what you think of this awesome character. I can't wait to hear your thoughts about him. And uh, please subscribe, comment, and share. Um, I love hearing from you guys. The support is fantastic. It really is. You can find me on Twitter at Collectors Hut um, on Instagram. You can type in thecollectorshut.com and that will bring you right to my YouTube channel. You can check out all my videos. And uh, I have a lot more awesome stuff to come. Like, I have some really cool stuff on the way. And uh, make sure you tune in. And um, may the force be with you guys. Thank you so much for everything. And I will see you soon. Thanks.